nearly a decade after his heart pulled west and then east to Turkey and then back west again for chroma key and now in north and North Dakota to be a doctor. But Dr. Kevin makes his triumphant return to the prog metal scene. After Dr. Kevin left Dream Theater, he made it very clear he had no intention of ever looking back, even going as far as to cut ties with longtime childhood friend John Petrucci. It was clear as day that he intended to cut all ties with his past in Dream Theater as well. Which is exactly why he decided to tap Dream Theater drummer Mike Portnoy for this project here. And yes, I know this is actually Jim Matheos' project, but shut the fuck up. I looked up Kevin Moore on Spotify and it was just like 2,000 monthly listeners. That's right, I'm so like, you know wait. this is prog as fuck because they have 2,000 yeah. monthly listeners. On paper, this looks like one of the most formidable groups prog metal has ever seen. One of our key founding prog metal fathers in Jim Matheos and godly drummer Mike Portnoy are, of course, going to melt plebeian top 40 listeners' faces off. But it's Dr. Kevin adding his brilliant dimensions of soundscape and next level melody that sounds like a heavenly balance. Other than Dr. Kevin on vocals, which I'll get into later, this sounds like an absolute god squad at every instrument, even down to the features. Without Further, bovine excrement, I'm Darius King. And I'm Metalhead. This is the new math. Dr. Kevin loads us into this political super NES game of Prague. Cryptic intro quickly followed by that crunchy riff and the quick drum fills. It sets the pace and the tone for the entirety of what's to come. They incite goosebumps with Jim putting down an infectious lead with Kevin's ear panning sound effects and samples to make it sound like you're in a war zone of Prague. Oh, that, that's good. Overall, a very LTE type sound, aided by Mike constantly living outside the box, seemingly never running out of a fresh beat. Naturally, having Dr. Kevin and Steven Wilson behind the boards is going to lead to next level production. Sean Malone cuts right through the mix, and Jim's tone is thick. Face melting, an ass kicking song to kick this one off. This one is a slap in the uh, nut button. Whoa. This one gets Metalhead Seal of Approval. Loaded with prime examples of Dr. Kevin's spectacular vision. He knows his limitations as a vocalist, so he sticks to a minimal, dreary, and moody approach. Right on top of this foundation he built with himself with the sound effects. A foundation also aided by the alien bass invasion that Jim and Sean add. Yet again, more hard-hitting, explosive drums. I agree, the vocal effects are really well done, and I think it helps lift up his, his range. The song is a perfect slow burn. It builds off of the first track. I feel like you could really put these two together right rather than have them be two different songs. Even though he's able to pull it off, I noticed that Dr. Kevin does have a little bit of Mike Portnoy disorder, yeah. which is of course having a mediocre voice, but you think that you sound like Ronnie James Dio, so you need to sing on all of your projects. Yeah. Especially since the mood kind of contrasts with the instrumental. Like I said though, it's decent. At the same time, you have Steven fucking Wilson in the studio, dude. Hey, hey, Steve, we get we like we got all the lyrics written. Here they are. If you just don't mind going in there, it's pretty, pretty low range. I love the concept. Anytime anyone wants to criticize a moronic government project that pisses on liberty, I'm on board. I think we should do an album called The Disinformation Board. What do you think? Yeah, that's actually, that's a good one. I like yeah. that. Instrumentally, it continues that same grinding high octane sound from the first track. Seal of approval. It gets the metalhead seal of approval. That is the sexiest lean tone I've ever heard in my life. When Mike spazzed on the hi-hat. That was nut, that was straight nut button. Uh, yeah, that solid clean riff pulls you right out of your chair. A very straightforward song that delivers more of those cryptic lyrics that are a little hard to understand. Dr. Kevin perfectly matches this mood vocally with his moody, intense delivery just like the music. The glitches and the slowdowns are nice little details that do so much to enhance the song. Spectacular one. This one's going on the playlist. It's the seal. This one feels like an experiment to see how long Mike and Dr. Kevin can keep a one note, two octave melody interesting for. They do a solid job on that end, adding in the soundscapes and some reversed samples on the drums. I like that this track returns to the heavy strategic arrangements with hard hitting explosive drums, melodic guitar riffs, and I love the eerie midsection. At face value though, it is exactly that. A one note, two octave riff for four minutes. So yeah, I'm gonna push yeah. you out of a moving car. It's for me personally, this one was my favorite so far. Holy shit. So. This one is going on the playlist. A lot more electronic influence on this one. Really like the Chinese sample in the beginning with the dreamy vocals. Kind of wish they stayed in that direction. Of course, followed by a pretty standard riff, but I will say, holy shit, Jim's tone is meaty. Thankfully, we return to that same dreamy electronic sound towards the back end, exactly what I was hoping for at the beginning. They expand on that lush soundscape with nice accents and some 80s brass too. One of the more engaging songs. It's just a good continuation buildup of previous four songs going on the playlist. Solid one. Seal of approval. 
Definitely a different one. I have I have different in my notes too. It's a nice refresher. The intro sounds like something you might hear from Porcupine Tree, actually. Yo, Kevin, Dr. Kevin, excuse me. That's right. Watch your mouth. He is almost a genius with his ambient noises that he almost uh, is. Thank you. Ambient noises that he he, he could fill the room with. <laughs> At the same time, he had like those almost jazz-like chords. Yeah, it gets kind of groovy during that electric piano section. One of the more creative and fun ones on here. So I added this one to my playlist. It's a seal of approval. What was this, Sabbath? Seriously, they grabbed the Steve Wilson feature, and this is how they use it. They have yep. Steve singing 21st Century Schizoid Man over here. Everyone else is like stuck in quicksand in the background playing Sabbath. More of the signature eerie sounds. The main riff is heavy, crunchy, and transitions very well into the more slow sections, and they go back and forth. Especially the second half with the roaring bass. Yes, and, yes, and second half. Yeah, the second, second half is where... Second half, yes. Was really not feeling that first half, especially the first real verse from Steve. Holy shit. There are some cool accents in the second half too like some nice bass licks and harmonics from jim but overall given that this was a steven wilson feature kind of disappointing this was supposed to be a 10 minute epic with steve why uh i wouldn't push you out of a moving car this must have been a leftover from one of those Turkish comedy horror film soundtracks that Dr. Kevin did when he was in Turkey. Right near the second half on the end, it sounded almost exactly like the part in A Nightmare to Remember where he builds up to the Cookie Monster vocals. <laughs> uh, yeah, and the drums. I think this is where he came up with that. He was like, you know what? Almost 10 years from now, I'm gonna ruin a song. Yeah, this is another leftover from the Turkish comedy horror film. Yeah. Right, we're back. Very nice brief acoustic ballad. Kevin puts on a great vocal performance with his very nonchalant approach. I mean, it delivers on more of the unique ambient noises that Dr. Kevin loves to do and I love. But other than that, it's nothing really that I'm like, holy shit, I need to like jump right to this track. Overall, very nice moody return to form. So this one gets the Darius King seal of approval. Wouldn't push you out of a moving car. Set the controls for the uh, the art of the sun. <laughs> Did you hear though? They got Sting to do the background vocals. Yo, really? yo, 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 yo. You can hear Mike trying really hard to save us from the art that Kevin is making, and he does an admirable job with some crazy fills and nice patterns. That's all Jesus I have to Christ. say because this was fucking garbage. Thing that never was. Well, the thing that should not be Metallica. Whoa. Yes. Because I know Dr. Kevin likes DT comparisons so much. We come full circle. First seven minutes are essentially the first song, so... I actually like this one. No, it was good. It was just like... It's yeah, it was like, like they copied and pasted the whole album yeah. into like a 20 minute song. <laughs> so the official prog epic of this album, I guess you could say the second half pretty much to the outro of just that hard hitting prog explosion is really what ties in like that nice you know breath of like relief i really like the concept almost like a closing paragraph summarizing an article this one is kind of just a medley of all the highlights of the album with several callbacks to what we heard before although most bands would put that at the beginning and call it an overture but this is dr kevin we're talking about so we're thinking outside the box typically with overtures though we get little hints and previews of what's to come here we get like huge chunks of exactly what we heard before but as a standalone song it's excellent and was a very good medley i love how they stitched everything together as well this one's going on in the playlist and i guess i could take all the other stuff i put on the playlist <laughs> off of there because they're included <laughs> in this one yeah this one's going on the playlist overall dr kevin returns to make some excellent prog bangers with some incredibly talented musicians tracks like the new math and when you're ready show that they're not only capable of putting together stellar songs but thinking outside the box and really reinventing the wheel likely because of the different styles each member brings to the table the arrangements the tones and the mu musicianship delivering some of the most kick-ass tracks and memorable moments that i can see any fan coming back to time and time again i think the only thing keeping this album from transcending time yes. from trans transcending further than what it is is, is the second the, half yeah the second half yes. of the album and also the comedically bad lyrics at times a little bit of art in the lyrics there well dr kevin does get a little self-indulgent at times especially during the back half of the record his electronic influence helps shape the brand new and excellent sound that we hear here stephen wilson feature was also kind of disappointing in my view but he certainly came through on the production and the production was next level on this thing unsurprisingly this is kind of an interesting one because the first half is at least playlist and then the second half is definitely in that 
that Y to, you know, excrement territory. But like I said, those those first couple songs were damn good. I'll even it out. I'll, I'll give this one the seal. Yeah, this one gets the seal of approval. Drums. <laughs>